Hello everyone. So from time to time I make uh, a video to give you my views, my update on uh, me using uh, Arch Linux. So it has been uh, roughly, it will be three years in November. So in uh, 2019, I started using, uh, was it 2019 or 2020? I forgot. So either it has been three years or two years, but in November, I... I think it was 2019, if I remember correctly. So anyway, so it has been uh, definitely two something years, or it will, or maybe three something years. But uh, I've been using Arch Linux for quite a while now, and uh, I moved to Arch Linux from Fedora, and uh, I I have been using Fedora for uh, I think close to two decades, roughly. So I started I started using Fedora. Uh, in early 2000s. No, in fact, I think it was in 2005 when I uh, properly moved to Fedora and uh, I have used it since then till 2019 or 20, I guess. And uh, I was actually using uh, Red Hat before that. And I also used you know, a few other distros that used to come uh, in late 90s or early 2000s. But uh, I was always uh, using Fedora as my main primary operating system. I was using it for everything, for doing my work, for, uh, you know, uh, using it for playing music, to watch movies, and uh, things were slightly different, but more or less, uh, nothing much has changed. Of course, now we have some new utilities that are uh, even lightweight. And in this video, I don't really want to do a comparison of Fedora and Arch because I love both. Uh, but after I moved to Arch Linux, I think uh, I've enjoyed using uh, suckless utilities. For example, I use uh, the DWM, um, D DWM along with DMenu and ST Terminal, which is great. Although in the beginning there is a learning curve, but uh, for me it was not really a problem because I know where to find my I know what to find, where to find, and how to find it. For example, if you are on Fedora, if you try to use Fedora, the website itself is, of course, very straightforward. You can click on this workstation button and download the iOS file, and you can, of course, you know, then set it up uh, yourself. There is, of course, decent, good documentation, I guess. But Arch Linux is not massively, I mean, if you if you're new to Linux, or if you're thinking of using Linux, then uh, definitely by looking at the website, you will get some idea, you will get some uh, motivation or demotivation to use one of them. I, I don't really want to say which one, but uh, Arch Linux obviously is uh, not massively, uh, the website is not really giving you this indication that yes, it is easy, easy and uh, user friendly. Uh, but it might not be the case for everyone. For example, uh, if you are totally new to Jira, then it might make sense to take the easy route. But what I wanted to uh, share and maybe not, not really an advice because you should try a lot of things. Use Linux, but uh, try to stick to one distribution of Linux. It could be any. Uh, you can use Ubuntu. I never really used Ubuntu, to be honest. I have installed it a few times. I, I always used to order the free CDs. I, I still have them unopened, uh, but uh, uh, I never really installed it uh, and kept it for a long time. I, I, I've of course installed it, you know, the live bootable version. I tried it for, for a few days. I didn't like it. Then I tried maybe the next version. So for, for some reason, I was never really into Ubuntu, um, but Fedora was definitely, I mean, of course, we all have our biases, but I didn't really do distro hopping. I know people uh, try one, one OS, then they move on to something else, and they move on to another one, and they keep on doing it. I guess it is fine if they like it, because maybe they find fun, uh, they, they find it fun, and they, they, li they like trying different distributions. For me, I have done that long back. Uh, but once I decided, okay, now no more uh, distro hopping, I'll stick to Fedora. Uh, Arch Linux, uh, because I have used Linux for almost or in fact, more than more than two decades, I can tell you that if you if you start using Arch Linux in the beginning um, of your Linux journey, then you will be f 
in a way, I don't really want to say force. You know, when you make a video on, online, you have to be careful about choosing your word. But yeah, I think you will be forced to take the hard route. Um, so you will, of course, install. I mean, when you install Fedora, you will have the moment you install it, you're up and running, right? That is it. You will you will have, of course, your uh, window manager. You don't even know if it is a window manager because when you install Linux, a uh, window manager is installed along with it. Uh, if you select the KD or, or, or GNOME, Genome, whatever you want to call it. But when you install Arch Linux, it is nothing but, you know, you can actually install Arch Linux in literally a few minutes and you will have nothing but a terminal with like a login prompt and you log in and that is it. There is no window manager, which is fine. That is how things are. Then you have to s install window manager. I know that, that there are some distributions that are based on Arch, which you can try, but I recommend try not to uh, use ready-made uh, distributions based on Arch. Do it yourself. It is it is not really about uh, uh, trying Linux or using a, a fancy, good-looking window manager. It is more about uh, the learning. I think when you do everything yourself, uh, you will, of course, understand the process of uh, using uh, Linux and you will be basically forced to, I mean, it, Arch Linux will force you to, you know, do some research. Uh, maybe you will, uh, I mean, do it on a, on a on a VM maybe or maybe on a spare laptop or a computer or maybe a separate hard disk. Yeah, do it a couple of times, you'll probably fail. You'll not really fail. It's not really a rocket science. But uh, try it first and then uh, make notes of everything, like all the commands that you're typing. There is like a wonderful documentation. For example, if you go to the install guide, you will find uh, plenty of things here. Like this particular documentation is is what you need. Don't really worry about anything else. Uh, but of course, make your own version. Because when you have to repeat the same thing, you don't really want to like go through the documentation. This, this is what I always say. When you're doing something yourself, make your own notes and then uh, use that note moving forward. Um, and maybe from time to time, match your notes with the official documentation if you have to. So when you install Arch Linux along with, let us say, any window manager, it could be DWM. Uh, the main reason I use DWM, ST and uh, DMenu is because it will, it is very lightweight. It has, I mean, even when you install DWM, uh, you will not really have anything, right? You have to basically then modify it. Uh, you have to basically learn how to run a script whenever you log in. And when you run a script, then you can, of course, uh, define things that you want to run in the background. For, so a lot of things, a lot of the things that I, that I, run that I have to run in the background. Uh, they are nothing, nothing but a script which is running. So you, so there is like a, I mean, there is no limit of learning. And when you do these things, the whole idea of using Linux is that you make it your own and uh, you configure things the way, the way you want to configure it. You only install things that are needed. I don't really install, you know, endless softwares because when you install Fedora or even Ubuntu with, let's say, KDE, you will get plenty of packages that you will never really use. You will not even know about it. Uh, in fact, uh, when you install Arch Linux, it will come with bare minimum utilities. And uh, if you're trying to solve a problem, you will then uh, have to install those utilities. And uh, then in, th in this process, you will learn, oh yes, this utility can do this. This utility need to be installed. And uh, this would be my personal recommendation. In the beginning, it will be uh, slightly difficult you might feel that why i'm doing this but there is a lot of learning and give yourself time don't expect to install arch linux today and you will be up and running using arch linux for doing each and everything that you do uh, the same day you will, you will have to spend some time uh, and that is why uh, maybe devote three months uh, maybe it's it's too much or maybe it's not really enough but uh, when you when you spend these three, two, one month in the beginning, it need not to be three months. I'm just saying because you know we all have other things to do. If you're if you're a student, then uh, maybe uh, you you may not get a lot of time. Uh, also, if you're a professional, I think students have like this quest, uh, this desire to do things quickly, which is great, <laughs> especially engineering students uh, because they are used to do things. Uh, or, or basically they, 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 they do things that require them to maybe spend a lot of time quick a lot of time in one like they, they spend like 10 hours they solve a problem and then then they move on so maybe you know spend uh, 
week, two weeks, but I think three months is rough. It's probably you know enough time to set up Arch Linux distribution the way you want uh, to match your workflow. Use your own shortcuts, and uh, if uh, if you want, you can also use some you know because people have written some scripts that will install Arch Linux for you or basically configure the window manager along with different packages. But you should do it yourself. Uh, that is where you will uh, be able to configure it exactly the way you want. And uh, uh, in, in the beginning, if you can, again, I'm just trying to repeat myself, try to, uh, try to take the hard route so that uh, you will you will not only learn about uh, uh, different packages, but uh, it is not just about the packages. You will probably also end up learning shell scripting. You will also learn about uh, the directory structure. You will also learn about where to find a specific thing. For example, I use uh, this uh, because when you're using dmenu, it will it won't even come with uh, this uh, thing on top where you know exit root, I guess this particular menu on top where you have uh, not it's not a menu but it's basically the information the taskbar where you have uh, free ram right or maybe the current playing song or maybe the brightness level or the battery percentage or the temperature or date so this is all custom done by me people have written scripts to have some icons which is also something that you should look at but uh, uh, the main thing here is to understand where to go and find uh, the RAM information, the current RAM usage, where to find the brightness level, where to find the battery level. If you have two batteries and you have to figure out which, which, which battery, for example, the moment I unplug my laptop from the ultra base, it won't immediately uh, close the, because right now I have two um, displays. One of course is the one which is with the, which is of course the laptop. And the other one is external monitor. And the moment I unplug it, or I lift my laptop, it will not immediately disconnect the second screen. Uh, but there is a script which is always running, and that actually looks for uh, the ultra base or the external monitor. If it is found, then okay, don't do anything. If it is not found, then it will uh, run the X render command to uh, turn off the other display, right? So when you do these things yourself, you will enjoy it and you will feel control over your computer and that is actually a very good feeling and uh, you can then tweak those things to match your workflow and the way you work highly recommended and and of course you know when you're using arch linux you will then be able to i mean of course there is a package for doing it which can work for almost all the distributions but uh, uh, when you install arch, arch linux and if you want to use your own custom shortcuts press this command to do this, press that command to do that, press this command to launch uh, Emacs or, or or change volume or control the music. For example, I can uh, press Alt plus and it will send a command to my MPD, which is running in the background um, and it will increase the volume or change the song and you can map those things. And, so, and when you do these things, uh, once again, so much to learn and it will actually help you uh, in doing your work for example uh, because i use linux as my main operating system although you know i use other os as well but uh, as part of my job uh, for example i used to do linux consultation i used to also uh, maintain my own servers running apache for my drupal sites i also when i, when I because i am a, I'm a consult i'm a jira consultant i uh, maintain some Jira instances for my clients. I also have to upgrade those Jira instances if they are running on data center. And those Jira instances are actually running on Linux, usually. And uh, uh, when you know how to use Linux, it will actually help you. And it will actually help you in getting better at your job. Because it's a core skill for most of us, not really everyone, but for most of us doing something in IT. You could be a developer, you could be into DevOps, you could be a consultant like me, um, and 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 of course, you know when you are using these things to do your job quickly, you will shine. You will 
uh, you will definitely grow in your career all right that is it that is all i wanted to talk about again my recommendation would be to try arch linux give yourself give yourself some time and be patient with it with it with the process don't be disheartened with this uh, initial uh, blockages that is part of the learning to make you better all right bye bye